Good afternoon, guys. I'm Chris Gonzalez. I'm Anthony Coleman. And I'm Will Sabarito. And thank you all for tuning back into my GSPN recap where we talk high school sports. And as you guys know, this was brought to you by GardenGrocer.com and Amp Sports Performance. That's right, Anthony. And guys, we were at some great regional basketball playoff games last night. Yes, and we have some highlights and updates of those games for you. But before we get into the action, I want you guys to go ahead and make sure that you're following us along on all of our social media platforms to stay up to date with the hottest coverage in high school sports. But Will, let me go ahead and throw it over to you, man. Where were you at last night, That's brother? right. I was out at the Osceola Windermere game. Now, this is a rematch of the district title game from last week where Windermere won, capturing back-to-back -back district titles. But unlike that district game, this one is win or go home. Let's get to it. Now, Osceola actually started off with a 4-2 lead early, but that would be their last lead of the night. Windermere, at the end of the first, had a lead of 16-12. By halftime, Windermere had a comfortable 32-23 lead, led by Trey Moss, who had 16 first-half points. In the third, Osceola got themselves back into the game behind Amani Thomas, who had 13 points in the period, and Osceola cut the deficit to just three points by the end of the third with a score of 42-39. to So here we are with just a three-point game in the fourth, but Windermere would score 13 unanswered points and absolutely dominated the fourth period. Kanye Jones led the way and had 16 points in the fourth period alone and a game-high 22. Osceola really struggled late. It was turnover after turnover, and Windermere took advantage, capitalizing on Osceola's mistakes, scoring a lot of easy buckets in transition. And that would do it. Windermere ran away with this one at the end with a final score of 69-55, to and they advanced to the regional semifinals where they will face the three-seed Wharton on the 25th. Man, that was a crazy game, especially it being so close. Yep. And then at the end of the fourth quarter, Kanye going off like that. Dominated. Man, that yeah, was it was a whole new game ridiculous. in the fourth. Windermere went off. Osceola really struggled. That's right. And uh, going back to, you said they're going to be playing Wharton right. uh, next week. That's actually a rematch of last year's regional championship oh, game uh, for Windermere and Wharton. So that's going to be a, a very exciting game one. as well. Um, Anthony, tell us a little bit about that Seminole game, man. Man, it was crazy, man. Seminole faced off against West Orange mm -hmm. to start off the playoffs. Seminole's athleticism and full court pressure was just too much to handle for West Orange, man. The Seminoles held a huge 23-6 lead to end the first quarter. The same story would basically happen in the second quarter as Seminole kept the pressure on. And to make things a little better, O'Shea Baker nailed a, nailed a huge three-pointer to end the first half and pushed the lead to damn near 30. Things were made the same in the second half, and Seminole came away with a huge 76-48 victory versus West Orange. Now, Seminole, of course, moves on to the next round where they'll be facing the Popka. And the crazy thing about this, we saw a Popka take on Seminole for football, right. and a Popka got the win at home. Let's see if it happened the same way here, or if Seminole can get the revenge win against Apopka, see the basketball team can get the win here. It should be a great game. Team, two great teams, two of the best teams in the Orlando area yeah, as well, be great facing to off see. on that one. So these players are going to get very, very interesting because another game that we're going to be able to see a rematch of, and I'll tell you guys a little bit about that after this one. Last night, I was at Dr. Phillips as they host the Evans Trojans in the Class 7A Regional Quarterfinal. Both teams struggled to get things going in the first quarter. There was a lot of back and forth misses by both teams. And by the end of one, the Trojans only had a 9-4 lead over Dr. Phillips. But things picked up for both teams in the second quarter. Dr. Phillips came alive and Evans continued a solid pace. The two teams actually headed into halftime at 21 points apiece. They were tied at half. The two teams continued to go head-to-head -head throughout the third quarter. And after three, Dr. Phillips led 31-29 to over Evans. Now, this is where things started to go ahead and Dr. Phillips actually pulled off on an 8-0 run that really helped them get the lead that they needed. But Evans was never able to recover from that. Every time Evans made a bucket in the fourth, DP had an answer and Evans was forced to put Dr. Phillips on the free throw line to end the game. Dr. Phillips ended up winning this one 53-45. to The Panthers were led by Denzel Aberdeen with 19 points last night and Abdullah Thiem also dropped 17 as the Panthers advanced to the Class 7A Regional Semifinal. And talk about rematches, guys. We're going to see a rematch between Dr. Phillips and Okoe. That game just happened in the district title game, and that was one of the best games that I personally saw all year. I'm super excited. I know a lot of people are super excited to see this, this big-time rematch as well. It's for sure to be a great one, even, I think, more anticipated than the Oak Ridge and Lake Nona one. Right. We saw that one ended, and then their rematch was even better. Mm -hmm. I think this game right here might be one of the best games of the year with right. Okoye and DP going back mm -hmm. against each other. Big big difference for this game, though, is that Dr. Phillips is actually going to have the home court advantage. Last time they were playing over at Apopka, so it was a neutral site. So that's going to really shift the thing. 
things uh, probably in, in Dr. Phillips' favor. Yeah, DP is looking really good. They're having a great season. You think they can make a serious uh, state run here? Mm -hmm. I see one of these two teams making it to states this year, right. either Dr. Phillips or Okoe. Uh, so whoever comes out victorious in that game is probably going. We're going to see them in Lakeland this year, in my personal opinion. Uh, but guys, last game, Anthony, you guys, you were at probably the best game of the night last night. Yeah, like I mentioned, the Lake Norton and Oak Ridge game. Uh, Lake Norton got the win over Oak Ridge for the district championship right. with a late bucket. Man, but this time it was the exact same way the game basically ended. The gym was packed as both teams were ready to battle in this highly anticipated rematch. Both teams battled back and forth in the first quarter, but a late three by Jalen Smith gave the Pioneers a 14 to 12 lead going into the second. Jalen would continue firing that thing in the second quarter as he hit another three to start the quarter and two more later on that would give Oak Ridge the 36-29 lead to end the first half. Things would remain the same in the third quarter. But in the fourth, Lake Norner will finally come to life. Jalen Harper scored eight big points for Lake Norner as they fall all the way back. And only down by two with a few seconds left in the game, Cameron Hall would drive the ball up the court and tie things up. Oak Ridge would get two good looks for the win, but they missed the first one and the second shot was blocked. Cameron Hall would get the ball again with a chance to win, but the shot was just a little bit too hard and the game would go into overtime. Oak Ridge would control things in the overtime though, and a late free throw by Jalen Smith would put them up by two. He would miss the second one, and Cameron Hall would get another chance. He would launch up a prayer to end the game, but it went unanswered. And Oak Ridge picks up the thrilling 72-70 win versus Lake Nona. Oak Ridge really spread the ball around, with four players scoring in double figures. Mike James and Roderick Henry both finished with 12 points apiece, and Jalen Smith and Keani Calderon both led the way with 17 points. Lake Nona finishes their season at 21-6 and the 7A District 5 Championship. Now, Oak Ridge will move on to the next round and will be on the road again to face the number one seed, Riverview, Sarasota. That's going to be a trip Tough right game. There. That's going to be one of the great games right That's there. Be a great game, Oak Ridge man. seems to have the momentum, too, after that one. So let's see if they can go and take out Riverview. That's right. And I'm, I'm not too surprised that Oak Ridge did come in and get uh, their revenge. But, man, I was not expecting that game to go into overtime and be as close as it was. So hats off to Lake Nona, man. They, they had one hell of a season this year and they, they exceeded a lot of people's expectations this year so let's see if they can go back to the drawing board and come back even stronger next year for sure absolutely yeah, i think they can for sure especially the way that game ended right um that's a hard way to go out man that's a tough way fuel, to go out for the offseason feel for the offseason off for absolutely. sure so i'm looking for them to come back strong really motivated and a better season next season but we'll see the oak ridge good luck to you and the rest man you guys absolutely. have really been balling good out luck late to everybody that's still in the playoffs this year man it's going to be one of the most exciting playoffs that we've seen in a long time here in the state of florida sure those state championships are going to be insane. But, guys, that's our show for today. We want to go ahead and thank our sponsors, GardenGrocer.com. If you're staying in the Orlando area at one of the Disney resorts, go ahead and place an order for groceries to be delivered to your room at the time of check-in. Save money and time by shopping with GardenGrocer.com. And also, you discover Florida. If you're looking for a new restaurant, hotel, or attraction, check them out on Instagram at you discover Florida or YouDiscoverFlorida.com. And once again, guys, I'm Chris Gonzalez. I'm Anthony Coleman. I'm Will Savarito. And thank you guys for tuning back into my GSPN recap. As always, y'all know, it's your sports, all, all you, you, all the time. time.